Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about where your tennis rackets are made. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so good morning to everybody out there. Uh, it looks like another someone has bought me today's coffee. So um, someone writes, I'm the guy who called you about strings for Dunlop 200G, 300i, and 400i. Salinko Confidential, 45 pounds, it is. Thank you for engaging the tennis community, cool content, keep them coming, and I'll keep watching. Maybe we'll get a chance to hit a few balls one day. I've been watching all your vids. Funny how you seem like, funny how you seem like family now, lol. Let's double up against Coach Goo and Coach Chris. Let me know when and where. I'm also in the Bay Area. Laters, take care and enjoy the brew. Oh, well, thank you, someone. I appreciate you uh, hooking me up with the coffee. Um, those Dunlop rackets bring back a lot of memories. The 200G I've owned, the 300i I have not, the 400i I have owned. So we're talking about rackets from, man, it's like late 80s here early 90s i don't even know if it made it to early 90s but if you guys know the 200g that steffi graf used johnny mack used it's that little guy that we've uh, actually did a video on a long you know a couple years ago um but yeah the little 80 85 square inch racket um those were actually super well they're super hard to use now but they're very pro staff 85 like and man, that brought back a lot of memories. I figured putting some confidential in there would greatly improve that racket, especially at 45 pounds. So cheers to you. Thank you for the coffee. Enjoy your old school Dunlops. All right, guys. So what I have here are four of the major tennis racket companies. We got Wilson, Dunlop, Babolat, and Head. Now, these were all made, except for Babolat, were all made in other countries other than China. But they're all made in China now. Wilson used to be made actually in America, in Chicago, where their headquarters of America is right now still. So they made rackets out of there for about a year and then, well, at least the graphite rackets, and then shipped them off to St. Vincent to manufacture for about a year to two years. And then off to Taiwan they went for a few years and then off to China they went, which is where they're still manufactured today. But American roots for Wilson, okay? Hence the Wilson name. They're actually a China-run company now, too. Um, Dunlop. I've actually have rackets like the, like my man, someone, uh, 200G, 300I, 400I. I have those rackets that actually say made in England. And I've seen a lot of wooden rackets that say that, too. So Dunlop history of making rackets in England. And they shipped them off to China to be made, man, many years ago now. Uh, they are now a Japanese company. Shrixon bought them a few years ago. Uh, but they still continued to decide that China would still make their rackets. So, um, but you see the little Shrixon name that's on there now. So Japanese engineered by Shrixon, manufactured in China. So Babolat, Babolat has always had pure drives and arrows and 
pure controls and storms and strikes made in China. So since the inception of them making these rackets about 22 years ago, they've always used a China uh, manufacturer and all the rackets have come from that plant. So they say French engineered, China made, okay? Head, so if you own an a old head, like a Tomas Muster or Goran Ivanizovic, um, Prince, excuse me, freaking Prince, head, head prestige or a Pro Tour 280 back in the day, your rackets either say made in Austria, which is where the parent company of these guys are, or made in the Czech Republic. So Austria first, then Czech Republic for good amount of years, and then finally off to China too. So made in China, Austrian engineered. But there is one more manufacturer in Japan. So Yonex has their own manufacturing plant, obviously in Japan, and they produce their own rackets there. And that's all they do. They produce just Yonex in that particular plant. But the one thing that a lot of us don't know is that they actually outsource some of the, well, some of their rackets to China. Like I, this was brought to my attention about five years ago when somebody brought me a racket and, you know, a racket kind of just like this one, <laughs> the new 110. And they're like, I don't see the Yonex on the butt cap. Is this fake? See, this one doesn't actually say Yonex on the bottom, whereas this one does. And I looked at it and I was like, it actually says made in China right there. So I was, the, my first thought was, could that be a fake? So I called my rep and my rep told me, yeah, it's true. They actually do make some of the rackets in China. Uh, the ACE, the ACE line, which is the lower end line is made in China. A lot of the aluminum or uh, composite rackets are made in China. So they really concentrate um, only, I don't wanna say only, but they concentrate pretty heavily on the higher end rackets in Japan and they make them over there. So don't be alarmed if you don't see the, the Japan on the bottom of the butt cap because it's probably real, okay? And it will say made in China in some of these rackets. All right, bet you didn't know that. Yeah, I actually have some more here that, uh, see this one says Japan and that's a 105. And this is a 108 in the old that doesn't say it and says made in China. But, but here's the, interesting thing these are no nope, these are fine yeah so three major manufacturing plants in the world producing tennis rackets today only so two in china one in japan i feel like all the other little guys also utilize the plants in china so all the the furries of the world and like uh, bolts of the world, Vo vocals of the world, pro um, those all use China. So literally, we are down to two plants and they're all China. So all your rackets, except for Yonex, specialty high-end, made in China. Okay? Nothing wrong with China. You could, you could almost say I was made in China even though I was born in the U.S., but, you know, you know what I mean, all right? I'm sure a lot of you were made in China. There's nothing wrong with that, all right? Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin 
on your tennis. Out. The ball was in. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. The ball hit the paint. Paint flew up. Did you not see that? Are you blind? You need an eye doctor. You cannot be serious. Oh, wait. I have swing vision. The ball is in.